Hello everybody, good evening. We are in a really random parking lot that we've never been in before. Yeah, I think you know, now that I think about it, I bet it's like it's the spa and wedding, the wedding pavilion, pavilion parking, parking for the Grand Floridian. I thought this great security guard Abe, um, when we told him we were just gonna go to Meisner's or do some other things around the, the resort. He's like, well, make sure you stay for the fireworks and then take two rights and there's a self park right there. And it was like this mysterious path I've never even seen from the road before, but we're here. Look how cool I am. My towel matches my headband. This is another one from Crit Ear Country. It's like all of the little tangle sun, so cute. But yeah, match my towel and I'm hoping that Peter is over there getting a lava smoothie. What's going on over here? <laughs> Guess what the, it's the, the bartender's name was. What? Peter. Wow. Guess what my name is. Peter. Peter. We got two cups of water and two lava smoothies. Oh my gosh. Because I don't think I've had a lava smoothie yet. I don't think so either. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. Thirty minutes until happily ever after. From the shores of the beautiful Grand Floridian. Look at this little fun thing. What is it? Curiouser and curiouser. But that cool hat up there fills up and, and slush and gushes everybody. Then just so you know, that bathroom over there by the other pool, Grand Floridian Main Building, walk out, pool, bathroom. One of the best bathrooms, men's and women's, ever. There was changing rooms, the showers, I don't know if you saw it, sir, but the showers have shower gel, shampoo, and conditioner. Oh, I didn't see that. On the wall. We have not been to the Grand Floridian since we've been there. And so. if any of anybody was see, watching, look at my craziness. <laughs> anybody watching hasn't seen any of our other videos or our old channel, just so you know, we are DVC members and we, our home resort is the Grand Floridian. And it's like our favorite. And I'll tell you a funny story. The first th like six times I was here, I did not like the Grand Floridian. I thought it was like snooty. I thought it was too much like a museum. But like I couldn't picture me and Sarah and our kids here one day like running around having a blast. But guess what? It's been so wrong. It's not my favorite resort of all of them. Look at that, that is all chocolate. Made by the Grand Florian Bakery. The same people who make the Christmas tree. It'll be here before we know it. The Christmas tree? Christmas gingerbread house. <laughs> but we think that's from 4th of July, but we're not sure. All right. Wait, there's another thing over here. This is Princess of Aurora's egg. This chocolate display was designed and created by the Grand Floridian Bakery team. Handcrafted in chocolate, hand painted in colored cocoa butter. Mm. But. I just wanted to explain to you guys something about being a DVC member and one of the perks. And that's when you're staying on points in any DVC resort, one of the only ways you're allowed to do is pool hopping privileges. Now there are a list of pools that DVC members cannot go to unless you're staying at that specific pool or specific resort. But with the, if you took those like six or seven resorts out and you're staying at any resort on your points, you are allowed to do um, to go to pool hopping given business demand. So if it's like 4th of July or New Year's Eve and the resorts are packed, they can say like, where are you staying? Oh, I'm sorry, but that privilege is not allowed right now. But outside of that, you're allowed to, to go pool hopping, which is, um, I think for a lot of people who questioned us moving here and keeping the timeshare, to us that was like a big perk. Yeah. Because if we Cause we stay, if we're cool. staying, even if we stay at, use our points to stay at a moderate resort like Port Orleans, we still get the benefit of being able to go to any of the resorts and utilize their pool. Perfect timing to walk out to the patio. I'd say this is one good way to get rid of case of the Mondays, huh?
Yes, we've never been. But we're gonna go sometime, you know? We'll go one day. Yeah. You guys missed him. Me and Sarah just got in a huge fight. I asked her if we could just spend the night in the chairs down here in the lobby. And she yelled at me and said no. Let's take a vote on who thinks that actually happened. Um, hold that up to your face. Ho ho ho. Look at it. It's almost time. Jack, the pumpkin walking. It's almost time. I can't wait to watch um, Evergreen Mickey. To constantly have Nightmare Before Christmas on again. <laughs> this one's so good. Oh my god, we gotta get this. Right now, can we get the whole block? We're gonna buy this whole block, which is like 70 of those. So I literally want to eat this. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Yeah. Like <laughs> she wants to eat it because it smells like Christmas if it's like chocolate. Someone please explain that to me. Guys, I'm curious if Sarah ever gets mad at me because um, she does most of our editing. Well, I should say as of right now, she does 100% of our editing. But I will throw in a couple days, I'm sure. But um, Sarah's about to put a link up in this corner or that corner or this one or this one. I forgot to do the, the links <laughs> on the last video, so I had to do that. I think it was that room right there? Yeah. It was that room right there with that light on. With the... So I'd say it's this one here. So that's the bedroom. That's the living room with a pull-out bed and a pull-out pull-down single. Amazing bathroom through there. Amazing kitchen through there. Sarah's gonna post the video over here, over here, over here, over here. Okay, can I just tell you it's in the right hand corner. This one? Okay, so she's gonna put a video link right here of our 24-hour day when we flew down here. Stayed in one of those rooms for like 12 hours to go to the 24-hour day at Magic Kingdom. And it was our first real YouTube video that Sarah edited yeah. and like premiered our, our stuff. Yeah. So that, I was just editing that for fun and then all of a sudden we decided to make the channel. I was like, that would be a good one to start it off on. My hand, I'm smelling my hands because go into basin whenever you have the chance to just wash your hands. And it changes your life. It does. Okay, this ends up, this is like the theme of the night, I think. Is this another one? Well, the, the water is. Yeah. So this is all chocolate, too. And cocoa butter. And cocoa butter. And it looks suspiciously like that fountain over there. It's like a mini version. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but it's so cute. At the Grand Floridian on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 8.15 ah. to 8.45, we've got Rise and Shine Yoga. So if anyone is off on Tuesday and Thursday, I'm free. You should go. You and Eve can come do yoga. <laughs> she she <laughs> needs... She, she needs a she needs a good yoga session. Our car has a capless gas. This is the first time we're filling up our car with gas. Yeah. We wanted to tell you a quick story of how this speedway, well it was the Hess before, is significant to us. And that is because the, the car that we just sold two, three weeks ago died in at this gas station. It was on a Sunday. And 2011. 2011, it needed a new battery and a new, what's it called? Alternator. Alternator. Not cheap. And luckily, right across the way is a, a, is a AAA. AAA. And, but it was a Sunday and it was closed, so literally we left the keys under the mat, the, the car unlocked, and someone from AAA like, took it from here. Like came over here. Jumped it. But we were able to kit. just like put it in neutral and like put it in one of the spots. We were like in one of those spots over there. We had to ask the uh, the gas station if, we, if they would allow us to let the car sit here until the morning, like the next 10 hours. And they right. were. So, it's crazy. We haven't, I don't think we've been here since probably. I don't think so. We're about to see how much it takes to fill our car with gas. 25, 25. How much did it? How much did it cost to fill the Jeep? Seventy-five dollars. Yeah. Wow, is that? We used to spend that in a week. Yeah. Come here. 
Sarah's trying to grab the pooch. You may not realize it, but it's like hours later we went to the store to go grocery shopping. So we're home now, and we're getting ready for bed because it's late. But I, we don't think we showed you Eve's, Eve's new, new bow. bow. It's sunflowers. Sure. Cute little sunflower bow. She's too busy giving kisses, see? Yeah. There you go, that's a good one. But it went from pink summertime to sunflowers for August, and I got a bunch more for the next coming month, so... Mm -hmm. She's ready. We will show you as they change. But with that, it's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>